for Lent, we give up things like beer and yeah. chocolate and bad things. And then today, and today is the day. Like, yeah. Let's remember Let's we're human beings. Drink beer, you know. So it's cool. Yeah. Do we have? Is that uh, is that voice part of the tradition? Yeah. All right. I'm learning oh, more and more. Yeah. No idea where that came from. Ahoy, everybody! Welcome to the Mike Polk Jr. Show, coming to you live on tape from Dingus Day in Cleveland, Ohio. We're in the beautiful Ohio City neighborhood where they celebrate this amazing Polish holiday. Happens every Monday uh, after Easter. This is the fourth time that Cleveland's been celebrating this blessed Polish tradition. And before we get started, why don't we take a look at uh, what Dingus Day is all about? You having a good time? Always. Good. Party. It's a very high-class talk show set that you're ruining right here. What is Dingus Day? According to Wikipedia, Dingus Day is an annual Polish celebration that takes place on the Monday after Easter. Traditionally, young Polish boys throw water onto the girls that they fancy and then spank them with pussy willows. For some reason, everyone is okay with this. On Dingus Day, people come together to enjoy traditional Polish music and highly suspicious boiled Polish food, such as Polish sausage, pierogi, and sauerkraut, a cabbage dish that smells like an open butt. After a day of drinking and merriment, a Dingus parade is held. And I guess that's pretty much about it. Dingus Day, a thing that happens. All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, now, here he is. This is really the man behind Dingus Day. He won't totally take credit for that, but he deserves it. This is DJ Kishka. You might see him performing around town. It's a very fun show. DJ, how you doing, sir? I'm fantastic. Come here, baby. Oh, jeez. Happy Dingus Day. Wow. Is, that, is that a tradition, or is that just something you wanted to do? I've been wanting to do that. All right, for... fair enough. So uh, you really are the one who brought Dingus Day to Cleveland, aren't you? You can well, say that. We, we, uh, not, I can't take complete. Uh, okay. Yeah, you know, I'd like to. But, but you were one of the one of the main. Yeah, people. yeah. The guys from the Happy Dog and Norm down at the Park View, and yeah. uh, and I we went to Buffalo about five years ago, and I uh -huh. had a gig there. Okay. And after we saw it, that was it. We're like, we're doing this in Cleveland. We're not traveling three hours. Yeah. To have a polka party, we can do it right here. So really, this is rooted in your unwillingness to drunk drive home from Buffalo. Well, I didn't say unwillingness. Sure. Like okay. Completely. Now, out of all the instruments yeah. you could pick up as a kid, you're like, I need a real chick magnet. Yeah, You didn't go with the electric absolutely. guitar. Right. You went with the accordion. Why is that? I, uh, I was forced to take lessons, piano, when oh, I was okay. five. Right. And then, uh, you know, the natural progression from piano is an accordion. You know, you want to be on the move. Yeah. You know, the girls just don't stay in one place. No, no, you, you can't carry your them, piano into you a party. Them around. You can't carry your piano into like a house party and just be like, oh, does anybody want to hear no, Piano Man? No girl ever, I never hooked up because of playing the piano. No, I, it, but the accordion. It's such a mis oh, yeah. It's, what I mean, are the accordion? And it's the, the accord fake beard, too. What are the accordion groupies like, frankly? The uh, girls who are like, I got to have me some of that. He's got a fake seriously. beard and accordion. They're a little frisky. You know? Yeah, it's I can nice, imagine. Yeah. So why don't you tell people why they should come to Dingus Day next year? Next year? Yeah. It's the greatest polka party Cleveland has ever seen, and it's happening right here in Cleveland, strangely enough. Yes, no, it but is. No, I, but I tell you, it's great fun. Everyone's, everyone's in a great mood. Winter's over. Let's party. All right. Thank you very much. Make I appreciate day, it. You, sir. DJ Kishka, everybody. Happy <laughs> Dingus Day. Happy Dingus Day. Take a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Dingus herself, oh her honor. What do your duties uh, include as Miss Dingus for the whole year? Drinking beer. Okay. Going to the DJ Kishka Polka Happy Hour events. Gotta do that. And then next year I get to vote. You get a vote yeah. in next year's Miss Dingus. Are you worried that you might become corrupt with power? Possibly. You know, and just go power hungry and just start just making proclamations and all it's, that's... it's possible. Do you get any other special treatment now that you are Ms. Dingus? Do you get like a 
like some kind of a 10% discount at the Golden Corral Buffet or anything? Maybe at the Happy Dog. Yeah. Not... Now, you are holding the honorary Pussy Willows. Yes. And what is this? Uh, I, I'm not. I'm still not clear on this tradition. What does this represent? So the Pussy Willows represent number one spring yes. and the end of Lent, and uh, getting props. Okay. Um, yeah, I see that. You're like Carrot Top, but Miss Miss Dingus instead. Uh, so right. on Dingus Day, the boys would go around and squirt the girls uh -huh. that they liked, and then the girls in turn would take the Pussy Willows. And hit the boys. Do you understand how 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 close we are to being uh, dirty right now? Yes. Do you understand how many metaphors are going on? Yes. How many double entendres you're yes. throwing out? And that's what makes it even just better. Just squirting and pussy willows and whatnot. <laughs> and you're just saying it like it's just nothing. It's nothing. That's good. It's a it's a. Polish... And that's how we know that you're the one. We'll be right back with lots more Michael Jr. Show coming at you from Dingus Day in Cleveland, Ohio. What does it say about us as Clevelanders? What does it say about we as Clevelanders? We as Clevelanders? I don't Cleveland. know. What does it say about Clevelanders? That we are willing to come down here. You don't know anything about this day. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about this day. But we just come down here and have a few beers regardless. We're like, yeah, we'll come down. We could be supporting something terrible right oh, now. It could be horrible. It could yeah. be the worst holiday ever. This could be something where we're just like, all the Polish should be on an island somewhere. You have to eat as many pierogies as you can. Okay. And then you have to eat your pussy willows that don't have the buds. No buds? What does the no buds thing mean? Somebody came out to me and went like that. Oh my gosh. Were you mad? Yes. Is that a tradition? Does that mean that that guy, no. do you have to marry that guy now? That just means he's a and you gotta stay away. Hey everybody, if you're just joining us, we're still at Dingus Day here in Cleveland, Ohio. The yearly Polish celebration the day after Easter. Um, uh, I'm here with my co-host, the back of a of a guy who's been drinking all day. There Party! He is. Party. And right now, we want you to take a look at this, right? Exactly. Thank you, Stay. He's having a good time. So, Cleveland has the Polka Hall of Fame, huh? This is it. Cool. Greetings, everybody. We're here in uh, Cleveland, Ohio, Euclid, actually, at the Polka Hall of Fame. You might not have even known that this was here, but it certainly is. It's a Cleveland gem, and I'm here with Joe Blensick. And Joe, thank you for the time. Thank you for coming by. Appreciate it's it. It's the National Cleveland Style Polka Hall of Fame and Museum, and we're here to celebrate a particular style of American dance music that started in Cleveland's neighborhoods, in the nationality neighborhoods, and then branched out around the country and became popular, especially in the years after World War II. The thing that I like the most about polka music is it's almost impossible to be sad when you're listening to it. Would you agree? That's right. Like, wouldn't they be great to have around all the time whenever you have bad news? Like, for example, if I were just to say, it looks like the Cavs are actually going to end up being in the lottery again this year, and then... Who cares? There's always next year. I've got to address it. Where do you stand on Weird Al Yankovic? Uh, Weird Al has been great for promoting the music. Uh, he uh, celebrates it in his own way. Uh, he actually did a show with Frankie Yankovic. They're not related, but they, uh, he... What is the coincidence there? The fact that it's these two dudes known for, uh, like, probably the two most famous accordion guys of all time, and they both have the same last name, not related. Hey, that's America. You know what I like about this jacket too, it's subtle. You know, it's not too over the top, it's just, that's what he, he's like, this is what I'm wearing. And it has pants to match. Oh, fantastic. Did someone make off with those? Is there one person who's on the bubble who's like always, you think might make it and just hasn't quite made it in, the Susan Lucci of the Polka Hall of Fame? Um, possibly Lynn Marie Rink out of Nashville. She's been not. I was gonna say her. Oh, baby, you can't mean that. Oh, my girlfriend just broke up with me. <laughs> Well, it is Dingus Day, and on this day, people unfortunately do have a tendency to overindulge. I'm not throwing any stones, sir. No! Yeah, all right. But some people don't show the restraint that this gentleman has, and that's why these people exist. Take a look at another episode of Those Guys at the Bar. <laughs> 
Uh oh. <laughs> hey, Nikki, set us up with our usual over here. All I'm saying is, if they get rid of Chief Wahoo, I'm killing myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me too. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, moment of silence for the ultimate warrior, right? Can't believe he's gone. He's suplexing angels in heaven right now. What happened to that chick from last night? Oh, well, uh, we ended up going back to my place. Nice. nice. Yeah, then what happened? Well, uh, I went to the bathroom, and while I was in there, she took my Blu-ray player and left. Ah, that sucks. So, that happens, though. That happened to me once. It happens to everyone. Probably the same chick. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll forgive LeBron, but only if he comes back and apologizes to my face. Yes. Or if he just came back. Yes. Just if he just came back, mm -hmm. that'd yeah. be, I'd that'd, still accept that. That'd be cool. I'll only hug a dude if we're shaking hands, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's fine. And the awesome thing about Boondock Saints is you see something different every time you watch it. Totally. After my pit dies, I'm getting a wolf. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Hey, Nikki, is it cool if I have this? Whoa. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, Nikki. Hey, I'm stupid. Stupid. Hey, I'm uh -uh. Oh, uh -uh. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I seen this one. This is the one where <clears throat> the gang finds out that Monica and Chandler are secretly dating. <laughs> Turn it up, Nikki. Yeah, well, so what if I brought it from home? Last time I checked, this is America. Yeah. My brother's friend was in the Marines for this country. Yeah, I can drive as fast as I want in Strongsville, you know, because my buddy's a cop and all. Ah, oh, that's awesome. You're yeah. so lucky, dude. Yeah. Dude, I'm serious. If you put a penny in your mouth, it messes up a breathalyzer, and you can't get a DUI. You're home free. That's true, dude. My buddy Shark did that at work. Shark, are you serious? Hey, Nikki, give me uh, three shots of Clairvo. I got a penny. Dude, wake him up. We're gonna get thrown out again. <laughs> Jaeger. Like She's not thing. smart. Because I mean, the, the only reason we're even there is because of oil. What? Nicky, he's fine. He's Get just it. tired. He's had like a long day of work. Cause he. All right, we'll go. Yeah. Well, so far, Dingus Day has been absolutely magical. Wouldn't you agree, drunk sidekick? Dingus Day is always good. Dingus Day is always good. You said a mouthful there, my friend. Uh, speaking of hilarious good things, why don't you take a look at me doing some stand-up comedy? I just moved uh, recently. I moved into a great neighborhood uh, in uh, Cleveland, and I uh, did the first thing that I always do whenever I move into a new neighborhood. I went door to door, and I told each and every one of my neighbors that I'm a convicted sex offender. Uh, <laughs> now that's not true. I am not a sex offender. But I don't care for children, and I find that keeps them out of my yard. <laughs> Nobody's knocking on my door, trying to sell me tins of popcorn for school or something like that. Oh, it's for band camp. Go away. I don't care. It's not bad. They put a sign up in my neighborhood recently that makes me mad. Every time I see it, it, it angers me. It says, caution, deaf child at play. I know, right? <laughs> Every time I see it, I'm like, no, uh-uh. Don't try to pass that responsibility onto me. <laughs> you keep your deaf kid out of the road. All right, listen, I'm not trying to be a jerk, people. But what kind of a parent are you of a deaf kid if you're letting your kid anywhere near the road? All right, why is this my job? Like, if I had a deaf kid, and I don't, but if I did, the first thing I would teach him is I'd be like, hey, my deaf kid. <laughs> Word to the wise, stay out of the road. <laughs> you can't hear anything. You're gonna get smacked. <laughs> and while we're on the subject, I'd also avoid train tracks and firing ranges <laughs> for the same reason. <laughs> but one thing's for sure, we're not putting up a <laughs> sign because that's queer, that's what I tell him. <laughs> and he would respect me. Because that's my deaf kid. Oh, it is to laugh. I have a good time watching myself. Stay tuned, everybody. We'll be right back with lots more Mike Bull Jr. show, live on tape from Dingus Day. Vlotza. That's live probably. Live on tape. Yeah. I like that. Live on tape. Thank you. <laughs> He's not the best colored man in the business for no reason, everybody. Tell us uh, what you know about Dingus Day. Uh, I just know it's a bunch of, just a bunch of white people who seem to be having fun outside. Yeah. Um, I wore a Slovenia shirt. Hey, that's sort of. I don't know. Like I was just hoping that they didn't have beef with Polish people. No, but I think they're, they're cool. like pretty close. 
Um, but people have been like, oh, cool. How long have you been here today, friend? Just early morning. You got here early? Well, yeah, hey. Early morning. It's, <laughs> it's only Dingus Day once a year, man. You know what I mean? It's only right. Dingus Day once a year. Speaking of, Dingus Day has this amazing parade. And it's just getting bigger and better every year. Uh, lots of notable celebrities and amazing people walking through it. A lot of great attractions, a lot of cool floats. And uh, we have some hard-hitting parade coverage for you right now. Dingus Day parade coverage. Welcome everybody to the Fox 8 coverage of the 2014 Dingus Day Parade. I'm here with Natalie Herbick. You obviously recognize her from New Day on Fox 8, Cleveland's own Fox 8. 10 a.m. in the morning. Absolutely. Yes. Aren't you thrilled to be here for the Dingus I'm Day so Parade? I'm so excited to be here. My first one. I'm so excited to be sitting next to you well. for all of this with a huge celebrity. Now, oh my gosh. It should be noted that the parade did not ask us to come down here. No, they did not. Fox 8 did not ask us to come down here. No, they did not. We decided to do this on our own because we don't have a lot going on. And uh, Slow day. Slow we wanted day. to check out the festivities, and, and I'm having a blast so far, aren't you? I am having a ton of fun. I'm so excited to see this parade get now, started here. This parade is upwards of four minutes long, from what I hear. It's a long right? time. Yes, and it's a bunch of amazing Polish uh, traditions and whatnot coming by. Like, for example, we've got Lolly the Trolley right there. Uh, Lolly the Trolley, obviously a, a Cleveland staple, a Cleveland icon. Obviously, the first thing in the parade is the official Dingus Day banner. Yeah, and it's that beautiful. is, a, look how gorgeous it is. Beautiful. You know, they went all out, didn't they? This is Juliana, and she is a baton twirler, officially. Baton We're... twirling, otherwise known as, I did not make the cheerleading squad. Do you know, that's really hard to do. I've tried doing that, it's yep. extremely hard. Yeah? Flipping that up in the air and catching, it's not easy. Have you ever tried it, Mike? I have never tried flipping a baton because my father would no longer speak to me. Oh my gosh, so... what do we have next? It's Miss Dingus Day? The, the Miss, Miss Dingus Day? Dingus, everybody. All hail Miss Dingus. What a vision she is. She had to go through a rigorous, uh, a rigorous battery of tests to make sure that she was Miss Dingus material. Do you know what that is? Because I would love to see. And that, that has to be, you know, a lengthy process. Absolutely. Uh, I know that top. she had to, uh, she'd eat a pound and a half of sauerkraut on her own. Uh. Yeah. And then she uh. obviously is the most gorgeous woman anyone's ever seen. That helps. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Absolutely. If there is a romantic instrument that is overlooked, wouldn't you say it's the accordion? Absolutely. I've always wanted to be serenaded to an accordion. Yeah. The accordion actually is an interesting instrument in that it sounds the same if you're playing it properly or if you just throw it down the stairs. It sounds exactly the same. Yeah. Good point. Next is Lolly the Trolley. Everybody loves Lolly the Trolley. Your, banging action going on. Yeah, your grandmother would love to go on a ride on that. That's her dream, by the way. Take your grandmother on Lolly the Trolley around town. She'll think she's in Vegas. All right, and next we have, uh, this is uh, one of my favorite parts of the parade. These are the Krampuses, which is a, a, a demon that hung out with Santa Claus in Europe or something like that and punished kids when they were bad. Is that right, now? Yeah, that's scary. Very yeah. scary. He carries chains, mm -hmm. thrashing them around for dramatic effect. Yeah. yeah. Accompanied with bells, too. Right, like yeah. This. Oh, okay. And then he has like some kind of like a reeds that he whips kids with. Maybe that's where the whole willow thing comes from. Oh, that's where the pussy willow branches come Maybe. from. Maybe. I'm just trying to put the pieces together. We have no idea what this holiday is about. Have we made that clear? Yeah. But I do It doesn't Oops. matter. I do like the idea of children being beaten and punished by a demon. You know, Charles Ramsey of Hero Kidnapping fame uh, has a new show coming out right here on Fox 8 Cleveland. It's called Ramsey to the Rescue. Here's a quick preview. Who's the man to call when something ain't right? It's Ramsey to the rescue. Ramsey to the rescue. He'll help you if you're black or even if you're white. It's Ramsey to the rescue. Ramsey to the rescue. Oh, I can't get this open. Do you have a bottle opener? No. How am I supposed to get this bottle of beer open? You guys need some help? Charles Ramsey. Can I have it? Sure. Wow, thanks Charles Ramsey. <laughs> he took my beer, he did take my beer. It's Ramsey to the rescue. Ramsey to the rescue. It's not the code. Uh, here, let me try. 
Mm -mm. I can't remember the code that gives you unlimited lives in the game Contra. You guys need some help. <gasps> Charles Ramsey! Can I have it? Sure. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, select, start. That did it! Oh, there you go. Wow! Thanks, Charles Ramsey. Do you want to stick around and play a game? I don't play that geek shit. Still, thank you. It's Ramsey to the rescue. Ramsey to the rescue! So, yeah, it looks like it's about closing time. You know, I uh, live right around the corner from here. Maybe you want to go grab a nightcap or... What? <laughs> okay. Wait, man. <gasps> Charles Ramsey! I don't know if you know, but that's a dude. Yeah, I know. It's late. Oh. oh. All right. He seems cool. Thanks, Charles Ramsey. He's like a really nice guy. Yeah, really real. It's Ramsey to the rescue! Ramsey to the rescue! Man, oh man, is that gonna be a rating smash hit or what? Ramsey to the rescue, check your local listing. It's gonna be great. Uh, and Ramsey has a book coming out. It's called Dead Giveaway. It's from Gray Publishing, and it's available at all great local bookstores. You big reader? Yeah. Yeah? What, 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 what's your favorite book? That's where you're confused. All right, never mind. You got a little confused. It's not a big deal. Happens to the best of us. It's all right, answer that. It's Dingus Day in Cleveland, Ohio, and we'll be right back. We, I've only been uh, spanked by one pussy willow reed, and I think she was making fun of me. Is that a bad thing? That is not a bad thing, but you know what? If you like being spanked, we could find more who can yeah. do that. Yeah, the night's still young, you know what I'm saying? All right, everybody, thank you so much. This has been an amazing Mike Polk Jr. show. I think we can all agree. Thank you to the people from Dingus Day for having us. Thank you to all my amazing guests and people that took the time to speak with me. Thank you to my no! co-host who just sat down, some guy, just some guy who sat down, my co-host. It is who it is. He's been, a, that's true, man. He's been a blast and uh, stay tuned. Check your local listings for uh, Mike Polk Jr. show coming at you on Fox 8, Cleveland Zone. Yeah. It's my dad. That guy's actually my ride. That's not good.